Peralta, Diaz, this is Inspector Canalsgord and Deputy Inspector Connison. Their flight here was eight hours. It's been a pleasure talking with you about the duration of your flight. Good day. Well, there goes my opening question about how long your flight was. It was eight hours. Yeah. No, I got that. I was joking. Sorry, it must have gotten lost in translation. No, we understand you perfectly. Everyone in Sweden speaks English. We also speak Norwegian, Dutch, German, French, Russian, and Finnish. But not Danish. That is a garbage language for garbage people. Yeah. Oh, word up. Well, I have almost memorized Gangnam style phonetically, so samesies. I don't know this word, samesies? From context, I believe it means proudly uneducated. Ah. So, now, where's our prisoner? Being processed, but in the meantime, may I offer you some of the finest cuisine in Brooklyn from my favorite restaurant, the food cart outside the precinct. It's really good. Mm, none for Sarin. He's allergic to lactose, gluten, and tomato ketchup. Now, also, none for Agneta. She and her husband are trying to have another baby, so she can't eat anything that will alter her cervical pH. Now, you guys are real close, huh? In Sweden, we believe for a proper team to function, partners must be completely open with each other. Yeah, we have no secrets, not even our bodies. We sauna together all the time. Yeah, well, we are also very close. One time, Rosa saw me in my bathing suit. No, I didn't. You told me to turn around. Yeah. Well, uh, since we cannot eat a disgusting street food, could you please check if our prisoner has been processed? Yeah, we don't mean to offend. It's just this place is filthy, and you both seem unprofessional. Unprofessional. Well, we were going to take you to our favorite laser tag place, but now you're officially uninvited. Rosa? Probably telling Captain and Holt how much they like to sauna together. Please. They think they're so great just because they know each other's allergies. You know what I'm allergic to? Yep, them. Totally. And also bees. You should know that. If I got stung by a bee, I could die. Detectives, I've been talking with the inspectors. There's been a development in the Shoot Bula Diamant case. Excellent pronunciation, Captain. Doc, they believe our perp may have smuggled more stolen Swedish diamonds into Brooklyn. Oh, well, thank you for the tip. Have a wonderful flight home. We will send you the jewels as soon as we find them. Just staying and working the case with you. Ah, fantastic. Rosa, could you please fill my car with a million bees? Uh-oh, what's this? A little piece of evidence that evaded your bald little hands. A shipping manifest that was shoved into the back of a drawer. Our perp transferred a container to a shipyard in Bay Ridge on October 11th. That arrived over a month ago. I doubt you'll find anything in it. Please, you're just pissed we cracked the case wide open and you've got nada. That's right, I speak Spanish. Actually, we've got much more than nada. Damn it, he speaks Spanish too. Ignata found an invitation to a party tonight at the home of Alvar Gustafsson. The hot blonde guy from True Blood? Oh. No, the Swedish millionaire with ties to organized crime, Alvar Gustafsson. Yeah. Oh, that Alvar Gustafsson. Well, you're welcome to pursue that dead end lead while we go to the shipping container and find the jewels. And maybe to celebrate, Rosa will wear them to your dumb ass party. No, they're priceless. Please do not do that. Yeah, obviously we wouldn't. We were just being jerks. See you later, jerks. Okay. <laughs> Bye, Yank. <laughs> Bye, Rosie. <laughs> Sweets. Oh, hello, Yik. You missed quite a party. The blonde man from True Blood was there. Very cool guy. So cool. Yeah, that's cool. Hey, this is weird because I hate you guys, but can I ask you a question? If you broke up with your husband, would you tell Soren about it? Are you making a funny laugh joke right now? I would insist he be there for it so that my husband would have a shoulder to cry on. Yeah, several years ago, Agneta and Lars were having trouble conceiving. She didn't even have to ask me to donate my sperm. I had it already in a Tupperware, ready to go. <laughs> oh, wow, that's... So gross. Yeah. So we will be taking the jewels back to Sweden tomorrow. Yeah, guess you were wrong about us, huh? Bet you feel pretty stupid. Actually, when you're wrong, that means you've learned something. And any opportunity for learning is good. Ugh, you are the absolute worst. I hope you die in a fjord. No, no, no. We are trying to say we are happy to have worked with you. Yeah, I know. That is an infuriating attitude. Yeah, I second the fjord thing. <laughs> Ada. Bye, Yek. Bye, Rosie. It's just how they walk around, I guess. Get your hands off each other, weirdos. Yeah.